Hey, this is Eric from pewpewtactical.com. Today we're gonna do a quick field strip of the LCP Max and then a reassembly. First, we're gonna make sure that it is safe and clear. Now, let's take out the magazine by pressing the magazine release button here. Now we'll check the chamber to make sure that's clear as well. Now we're gonna place it down. For the LCP Max, you don't need to drop the hammer before you release the slide. Take a screwdriver flathead or any other kind of blunt instrument. I don't care about the finish, but if you do, you can slide a piece of paper down there between the screwdriver and the slide. Now just pop this lever out. And you'll release the slide. Put down the frame. Now take a look at the spring system. We'll press forward and release it. Now we'll get the barrel, probably pull up and it'll slide right out. That does it for the disassembly of the LCP Max. Now we love the LCP Max as one of our concealed carry guns. If you wanna see more of our choices, check out the link below. Now let's reassemble. Take the barrel, put it through the hole in the front and then slowly move it back until it drops in place. It's like that, it doesn't slide anymore. Now take the spring system. So you can see it's actually two springs and a guide rod. We didn't fully disassemble that, but you can figure it out. Now put the springs in front here and you'll want to move the metal part into this groove right here. Just press and it'll drop right in like that. Now you're gonna take a look at the grooves over here. That's gonna slide onto the rails over here. Let's match them up. And you can see there's a little bit of metal there. We wanna push down with the pin and just pop it in. Now, if you're unable to move the slide back, this could be one source of your problem. Let's do it again. You'll see here, the hammer is back. That allows you to put it back on. But if for some reason you press a trigger before, you're gonna have to move this back. Otherwise, you'll see that it does not fit. It gets stuck there. So you'll have to move the hammer back manually to here at least. Now, it works and it's just as I described before. Let's do a quick verification process that everything still works. We'll double check the chamber. Let's do dry fire in a safe direction. Now let's hold that back. See if the trigger resets. All right, it does. Now let's press it again. We are good to go. Once again, I'm Eric from pewpewtactical.com. If you're looking for anything LCP Max or concealed carry or anything else gun related, check us out.